All right, y'all. Welcome back. What we're going to tie today, uh, this is one of the most producing, easiest tying topwater flies you'll ever tie. This is the gurgler or the Gartside gurgler, uh, made famous by Jack Gartside. It's very easy. What we're going to tie today uh, is going to be a white version. You can tie this in a variety of different hook sizes. I tie this all the way down to a size 16, 3XL. What we have in the vice tonight, this is a size 6 and curved hook. The thread that we're going to tie on is uh, uni thread and 70 denier. For our dry fly hackle, uh, this is top rod and cream. For our tail, uh, we're going to use a little bit of bucktail. And then for um, our body, we have two millimeter white foam. You can vary the colors. Uh, you can mix and match. Uh, for the underbody, we got a piece of two millimeter foam cut down to uh, just about eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch. It depends on what size you're tying. Very easy fly to tie. Very, very productive. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, we're gonna go kind of quick. Uh, the flash that we're gonna put on top of this fly, uh, we're gonna use some pearl. We're gonna start at the front of the hook eye. We're gonna start taking turns back. This is gonna give our uh, deer hair, it's not actually deer hair, it's bucktail, uh, something to bind into. We're gonna run our thread back to uh, just in front of the hook point. We're gonna clean that out. Now we're gonna come in and we're gonna select a piece of uh, deer tail. Pro tip number 97, if you take deer hair from the top portion of your bucktail, uh, that's less likely to flare out. That's what we're looking for in this fly. So we're gonna take just a little clump from the very tip. Don't have to be a whole lot. A whole lot don't go into this fly. You can stack this if you want to. Normally I won't even stack it. I'm gonna come in, measure the body, and then go one and a half hook lengths or hook shanks all the way to the back. So I'm gonna measure one. I'm gonna come in and get my half. I see where that's gonna be. I'm gonna come in and clean that out. Give a nice little tag in to tie in. I'm gonna bind that down. I'm gonna take a look at it. Uh, there's several variations of this fly. Uh, we're gonna tie it just like uh, Jack did uh, with his original. So we are gonna put a little bit of super glue on here. It's gonna keep your tail from trying to roll around on you. It's gonna bind down a little bit better. Pull that up. That's gonna keep it nice and centered. We're gonna come in, we're gonna take two strands of this pearl we only need two strands because we're gonna fold it over several times. The original pattern called for, for anywhere from five to seven. So you can just do whatever you feel like looks good. Uh, this is one of those fly patterns that if you like fishing top water, uh, you probably already have in your, in your box. So we're gonna come in and catch that in on the side wraps forward I'm gonna double it over we're gonna come back again and come in and clean those out this fly never gets old uh, I've fished this for several years I was actually heartbroken when I realized that I was not the person that invented it I, I thought I was but it turns out that somebody beat me to the punch you'll find that in fly time it's kind of hard to come up with anything like brand new so this is a two millimeter white foam like I said you can substitute this the way I gauge how uh, wide my body is across the top I usually come in the gape of the hook and that's usually what I cut it down to but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in I'm gonna cut this down into a point this will reduce uh, some of the bulking that you'll get when you tie them in I'll make sure that stays right on the top. We'll work our thread up. That's just about to where 
uh, we're going to tie in our front piece. And just like our back piece, I'm going to come in and I'm going to cut that on an angle just to reduce the tie-in point. I'm going to catch that end by its tip. I'm going to start working it back to the rear. Okay. Once I get here, I'm going to come in with my hackle. Uh, you can use a sunrise gauge. You can run this a little bit bigger. You don't have to necessarily match this one perfectly. You're going to want this one to skate across the top of the water anyway. So we're going to come in, take a look at these. Looks pretty good. I'm going to strip these down. We're going to tie this one in actually by the tips. Once you've got it to where you want it, you're going to cut your little arrowhead notch into it. Give it something to bind into when you tie it down. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to take our underbody. We're going to start making wraps forward, touch and turns. If you want to, you can add some super glue here. You don't necessarily have to. It won't hurt anything, that's for sure. Now we're gonna take five segmented turns, keep them even, or pretty close to even. You ain't gotta be perfect. Uh, like you guys have heard me say before, fish can't count. I'm gonna tie in that head area right there. I'll come in and clip that underbody out. Get a good bond right there. And we're gonna come in with our soft tackle. We'll make one turn and then we're gonna hit all those segments to the front of the fly. Don't let go of it. It'll do that right there on the spool on you. Usually the slower you go, the worse it'll be. Clip that off at the front. Good tying point. Clean out that extra. Sometimes what I like to do is run, instead of one dry fly hackle, I'll run two. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to leave that with the one. We're going to fold over our two millimeter foam shell back. One loose wrap, two loose wraps. I don't like the way that looks. I'm going to come up just a little bit more. Try it again. One two, three loose wraps. Take a look at it. Set it. Pull everything back. Now we're going to build a little speed bump here in the front. If you want to collar this, you can. Uh, now's the time that if you want to add legs to it, it's a good time to come in and uh, put your legs in. You necessarily don't have to do that. It's going to take fish regardless. Uh, there's several different versions of this. Uh, this is a uh, close representation to the very, the very first one. We're going to whip that off. Clean it up. Trim those out. Take a look at it. You can do two things right here. You can add a little drop of super glue. You can hit it with some resin. Uh, whatever you prefer. It's going to lock your uh, thread in. And it's also going to give this front piece you want this to stay popped up just a little bit so if you're using resin or super glue you want to set it to where you want it angle wise this leaves plenty of room for a tie-in and then come in with your uv light and go ahead and set that or just uh, control it while uh, your super glue sets up after that's done we're going to come in just about even with the very front of the hook eye and we're going to cut that square across and that is it that is the guard side gurgler um, i don't know how many fish i've caught on this over the years uh, but it's definitely one of those down and dirty flies it's fast to tie it's very effective i uh, hope you guys enjoy it go ahead and tie some of these up put them in your box show them to your friends uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe
Uh, go check us out over on Facebook and Instagram. And if there's anything you guys ever want to see, uh, by all means, just leave it in the comments below and we'll definitely get to it. Until next time.